Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the end of trading session Tuesday, the 22nd November 2016. Please be sure to visit www.cfds.com for your trading needs. Also visit www.tradesignal.com for signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly follow the uh, the actual um, apps or you can certainly follow via the app on google play and the apple app store okay now let's try and discuss exactly um, what's happened in the european session today uh, in terms of the uh, market data let's just quickly go over the numbers first and foremost let's just uh, have a look here in terms of european market close you have the FTSE closing up uh, 41 points at 6820 although it was higher uh, 6850 at one point until it sold off into the close the German DAX up uh, was up almost 100 odd points until it reversed, and uh, now we have the uh, the actual uh, French CAC as well, up 18 points at 4548. So far, political uncertainty in Italy and uh, France certainly being ignored, and focus remains on U.S. markets remaining stellar, especially with Asian markets higher overnight as well. We have had two earthquakes, Japan and New Zealand. Markets certainly have taken them in stride. Okay, in terms of uh, fundamentals today, we had uh, stronger. Economic data out of the US from existing home sales and Redbook as well, again, um, confirming more or less uh, in terms of um, the uh, rate hike cycle and path certainly remains firmly positive and certainly looking to uh, move higher on the dollar index, which in turn does raise uh, potential growth concerns going forward, especially with Mr. Trump's uh, rejection of the TPP. Now, from my understanding, that certainly is risk negative and the market certainly isn't taking that and embracing it although uh, it did actually open up above 22200 until it flushed on the US markets and now we are now currently struggling around that 2200 level so certainly seems to be a, a key level a psychological level and a lot of game games are going to be played here in terms of shaking out the weak hands we have had a pivot low of 2194 on the S&P so again let's see whether or not we can sustain that my bias certainly remains bearish I'm looking for a move lower okay that's my current bias at present Given the fact that you have political concerns in Europe, you have uh, growth concerns in the US going forward, you have rate hike concerns as well, with almost 100% obviously probability now of a rate hike, and uh, <clears throat> Ms. Yellen remaining hawkish. The uh, US market rally certainly seems to be overdone, and uh, certainly a euphoric phase is uh, currently, well, given the uh, the actual phases that we're in, we're certainly in the euphoric phase. Now, we currently have the Dow, well, certainly hitting the 19,000 level, so again, all the key zones are being hit, 2200. Uh, the NASDAQ failed to hit the 4900 level, but we've had the 2200 hit on the uh, S&P. Okay, now let's see exactly where we are technically speaking. Okay, let's look at the technicals now, folks, in terms of the German DAX, always first because it's the market leader. I did explain during the day that we are going to get a bear flag, and we've certainly seen that. Okay, the German DAX certainly remains weak from the 60-minute chart. Daily chart certainly remains weak as well. Uh, my understanding really is that we are going for that gap fill. Okay, so it's all about gap fill. Currently trading around 10 to 720. Certainly we've had a pop. Okay, uh, now uh, previous support equals resistance in this zone here at 10 730. And we are looking for gap fill below. So look for 10 6, uh, 85, And then potentially if the market continues to flush, then you are looking at 10 6, 60. So you are looking for lower levels from my understanding. And again, like I said, citing political uncertainty, citing US market potential top. Okay, uh, rate hike concerns, emerging market concerns, etc., etc. Okay, let's move on to the French CAC now. Uh, French CAC again, like I said, political uncertainty certainly seems to be highest on the French CAC, and you are looking for a flush. Okay, certainly had, it was uh, stubborn today, held a 75% though, so certainly held the uh, technical key technical resistance zone. Daily chart again remains certainly bearish with the unfilled gap below. And the weekly chart, you can clearly see, is bearish as well. We're into that key resistance zone. So on the 10-minute chart, the French CAC, we are again looking for a gap fill below. We've certainly had intraday double top. And again, the next level really is gap fill at 4.530. So certainly start to look below. 4.530 zone, you have support if we continue to flush at the 200 MA. And then you subsequently have support uh, slightly below uh, into the 4.520 level. But again... Political uncertainty, you could certainly get an emotive sell-off on the French CAC, and that's exactly what I'm expecting, okay? Uh, looking at the FTSE 100, we certainly had a stellar session early in the morning. 
Um, certainly stopped me out at 6.853, really was exactly the high of the day, which was certainly annoying, but I, uh, I managed to get back in later on, shorted it again, managed to scrape 23 points out of it, so that was good. Okay, in terms of the FTSE on the daily chart, we certainly rejected the 50% on the daily chart, so again, looking for resistance. You certainly have a topping tail here now, and again, if you look at the larger scheme of things, you can clearly see a H&S formation. I've explained this already to subscribers. Uh, you can clearly see on the weekly chart, you have a H&S formation with a target of 6320. Uh, so the FTSE 100 certainly is bearish, okay? Certainly is bearish, okay? Now going to the 60-minute chart on the FTSE 100, again, like I said, uh, key resistance at the 200MA, horizontal resistance previously at 6850. Okay, we've flushed. Now there is a chance, uh, a strong chance that you could bounce up this level at 6817. Uh, after hours we certainly have, we're at 6834, 35 now. But we are looking for a flush, potential retest below. Given the fact that yes, the st sterling certainly has dropped from 1 to 1.25 to 1.24, which in inadvertently has helped the, uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100 to a large extent. But with the US dollar obviously a potential top, and you are looking at sterling rally certainly ga gathering steam. So again, uh, FTSE 100 focuses on oil as well. Oil prices have started to move higher, uh, well, move lower, sorry, off the $48 level after talk of Iran and Iraq. Again, disagreement and bickering between the two. So you are looking at risk aversion there, folks, okay? So risk aversion. So again, looking for potential lower prices. There certainly is a high probability. Certainly is a high probability. Uh, certainly is a high probability that we can go down to 6780. Uh, now, the 10-minute chart, uh, the reason why I mentioned 6780 is because we have an unfilled gap below that needs closing. Uh, unfilled gap at 6770, okay? So, again, that, that gap certainly is in play. Hence, the reason why I've gone short at 6834 now on the FTSE, given the fact that we're starting to make lower lows, lower highs after the potential double top, triple top, quadruple top on the uh, 6850 zone. Again, look for 6770, keep an eye on that, okay? You do have support at 6790 as well with the 200 MA. But as we all know, markets like to close the gaps, so look for that gap below. Okay, I think that's a good summation. We can quickly look at the Euro stocks before I go. I've got badminton now. Quickly bring up Euro stocks. Come on, yalla, yalla. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Yalla, yalla in Arabic means quickly, quickly. So one second. Uh, where are they? Okay, I can't find it. I'll leave it for now. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. And watch the DAX remains weak. CAC is weak anyway. Nasdaq topping out, S&P topping out, you're looking for a royal flush, okay? That's my bias, bearish. On that note, goodbye.